This is a special report from ABC News Digital. I'm Dan Kleffler in New York with this ABC News Digital special report. They were the shots seen around the world. President Obama, along with British Prime Minister David Cameron, and the photographer, Denmark's Prime Minister Thorning Schmidt, posing together, smiling broadly for, of course, the selfie during the Nelson Mandela Memorial event in Johannesburg, South Africa. And then there was this, a wider angle, some narrowed brows, though, from the First Lady, Michelle Obama. Was she angry at the president, even the Danish prime minister? There was some speculation, all in response to those pictures. So to help clear up exactly what was going on behind those pictures, the man who took those pictures, Roberto Schmidt, the AFP photographer who captured those images and wrote a blog posting this morning and explaining that there was a little more than meets the eye. Roberto, thanks for being with us today. We appreciate it. Hi, Dan. Good evening. So let me ask you this. And how does what we've seen from your photographs differ from what you saw, from what you experienced? Well, I think there's just like a overblown buzz on what Michelle Obama was feeling, which really nobody really knows. Right. Uh, but minutes before this happened, she was, uh, you know, happily speaking with uh, with uh, Cameron, with the prime minister Cameron. So I didn't see anything that that would uh, lead you to think that, you know, she was mad about it or whatever. But I think that's a question that, you know, it should be asked to her, not me. I, I cannot say. When you were there and you actually saw the event that was taking place and a lot of activity was going on. And now that you're looking at the pictures, do you have a different response or of interpretation from that moment and now? No, not really. I mean, it's a moment, uh, you know, how, how do you, how people interpret it? Uh, you know, that's really uh, their, their choice. Uh, I think this whole thing is overblown, uh, you know. Let, let me ask you this one, because you wrote today, and I want to just play or show a little bit about what you had said in response to this. Suddenly, this woman pulled out her mobile phone and took a photo of herself smiling with Cameron and the U.S. president. I captured the scene reflexively all around me in the stadium. South Africans were dancing, singing, and laughing to honor their departed leader. It was more like a carnival atmosphere, not at all morbid. The ceremony had already gone on for two hours and would last another two. The atmosphere was totally relaxed. I didn't see anything shocking in my viewfinder. President of the United States or not, we are in Africa. And, and I wanted to ask you then, Roberto, uh, about just that, that last statement there, we are in Africa. What do you mean by that? Uh, well, uh, when, uh, you know, in Africa, people celebrate the death of, uh, of uh, they were celebrating the, the death of their leader with a very lighthearted, uh, uh, in a lighthearted way, they were dancing and singing. Uh, maybe lighthearted is not the right word, but, uh, you know, they were just very involved and very lively. Um, so very different than uh, how we do it, maybe in, in other countries. Um, Africa, it was beautiful to see these people, how they celebrated, uh, you know, the death, the passing of, uh, of one of their leaders. Were you surprised? I mean, obviously, you know that you were catch, catching a very special moment there, but were you surprised by how this has snowballed into so much attention? Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know. It's, I guess it says something about our society and what we focus on, what we choose to focus on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a shame. As a news agency that, you know, yesterday we moved on the wire like 500 images. And, uh, you know, the, among those, there's some really nice, nice images that capture, uh, you know, what uh, what South Africans, the way they were celebrating uh, the passing of their leader. And it's a shame that a picture like this, you know, kind of overshadows that. Let me ask you this as well, because there, there seem to be two veins that grabbed the attention. One was that the tight shot of the actual selfie itself, and then it was the wider shot that we shown uh, about the First Lady's response, her facial expression on there. There's been some debate, obviously, about the decision to take the selfie in the first place, that perhaps that was not the, the proper venue. But, but you're saying that, that given the atmosphere and given the kind of feeling that, that, in fact, it's difficult to kind of see it that way. Well, I don't know. When when you cover heads of state uh, in in different venues, you know, when whenever they're together, they speak, they greet each other, they talk to each other, they take they take that opportunity to talk, you know, among themselves. Um, and I think this was one of those uh, times. Um, look, there was breaks in the in the in the ceremony, uh, you know, music breaks and stuff. And uh, so I didn't, I I really didn't think it was that shocking. Uh, 
Let me, let me ask you this, because obviously, and especially, you know, as your job requires, you're capturing moments. And it could be an event such as yesterday's where it goes on four plus hours. And so when you capture that one single second, that one particular moment, do you feel then it's, it's, it's difficult to then explain that particular moment because that was just such a, 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 a small portion of time? Well, no, it's just one image. I mean, that wasn't the only image we moved, you know. Like I said, we moved 500 other images. And, you know, if you take everything uh, together, then it shows you exactly what happened. And this was one of the things that happened. So, yeah, it's it's part of, it was part of what happened. We were documenting what was going on. Has there been discussion then with your editors at AFP as far as how this was going to play out in other media outlets? No, I think it's... It took everybody. It took us by surprise that you know this this that this picture grew <laughs> legs so quick. And it happened just in a brief second, right? Uh, yeah, it was a matter of seconds. Yeah, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 seconds. Uh, you know, what? However, time long it takes for somebody to you know pull out a a cell phone and take a selfie, <laughs> and then maybe laugh a little bit about it, and then that was it. And of course, now the pictures that everyone is talking about. Roberto Schmidt, the man on the other side of the camera from the pictures that everyone is talking about. Thank you so much for your time. We certainly appreciate that. And we do have those images right here on abcnews.com. For now, I'm Dan Kleffler in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report.